Apple has banned from selling two of its newest and most popular wearables, the Watch Ultra 2 and the Watch Series 9 in the United States due to a patent infringement lawsuit after an October decision by the United States International Trade Commission went uncontested by the Biden administration. Welcome to VAR Indian News Hour. The Biden White House had until the end of Christmas Day to overturn a U.S. International Trade Commission ruling that prevents Apple from selling the Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2, among other newer models, because they violate patents registered to another company. But, as expected, it did not intervene. The Office of U.S. Trade Representative Catherine Tai confirmed the decision in a statement Tuesday. The U.S. International Trade Commission found that Apple infringed on blood oxygen detection patents held by California-based medical monitoring company Massimo and called for a ban on the import and sale of Apple Watches that contained the infringing technology. The company it was pursuing both legal and technical options to resume imports of the most advanced watches including submitting a redesign of the Series 9 and Ultra 2 watches for U.S. Customs approval in its emergency Apple motion. Apple requested a temporary stay on the ban at least until U.S. Customs can consider its redesign, which is expected to take place by January 12. The company said in the motion that it could suffer irreparable harm if the ban is kept in place while the Apple is ongoing. So what is the impact of the ban? No current sales. Apple pulled the Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 from its US stores and website on December 24, 2023. Existing inventory. Retailers like Best Buy and Target may still have some remaining stock of the banned models, but once it's gone, they cannot legally sell more. Future models, it's unclear how this will affect future Apple Watch models with blood oxygen detection. Apple could redesign the feature to avoid infringing on the patents or they could potentially face ongoing legal battles. It's important to note that the situation is still ongoing and any of these next steps could take place. Stay tuned for further updates. Let's look into today's headlines. First Cry intends to complete a pre-IPO placement of 363 crore rupees. The SoftBank-backed firm First Cry has submitted its draft Red Herring Prospectors DRHP in an effort to raise an additional 1,816 crore rupees through new share offerings. In order to raise an additional 363 crore rupees, it proposes to conduct a pre-IPO private offering of equity shares. The money received will go towards the IPO's net revenues, which will fund business growth, investments, and marketing campaigns. Finance Ministry issues notice to nine offshore crypto platforms. The Financial Intelligence Unit under the Finance Ministry has issued show cause notices to nine offshore cryptocurrency and virtual digital assets platforms. The so-called notice has been issued for non-compliance with anti-money laundering law. The FIU has also written to the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology to block the URLs of nine entities that are operating illegally without complying with the provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act in India. Google pays $5 billion to settle claims of tracking consumers' online behavior. A lawsuit alleging Google of secretly tracking the online activity of millions of people who thought they were browsing anonymously has achieved a preliminary settlement. The trial of the proposed class action, which sought at least $5 billion, was set to begin in Oakland, California. But U.S. District Judge Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers pulled it out. Filed in 2020, the lawsuit covered millions of Google users since June 1, 2016. Samsung Galaxy A15 to have a 6000MHz capacity battery. A rebranded Galaxy A15 with a larger 6000MHz battery, the Galaxy Name 15 is scheduled to launch from Samsung. 
The forthcoming gadget is anticipated to come with the same MediaTek Dimensity 6100 Plus CPU and triple real camera setup, which is 50 megapixels as the Galaxy A50. This action demonstrates Samsung's dedication to offering products with large capacity batteries for prolonged use. Apple to add data transfer and peripheral authentication features to MagSafe. Apple has been investigating methods to enhance its MagSafe charging technology with new capabilities such as wireless data transfer and the ability to identify and authenticate connected peripherals. According to a recent patent from Apple, an iPhone may first detect a nearby MagSafe attachment before searching for any potential data on it. Identification may be part of this data and MagSafe can be used as a key in search of system. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.